everyone again. I promise you the second part of the top coldest places on earth to spend Christmas in. And today we talk about the hottest places, the uh, uh, five hottest places to spend Christmas uh, in. It is not the best <laughs> day to film this video. Outside it is freezing and it's raining. My head, I'm wearing my head on because I was uh, outside. I was trying to finish my Christmas shopping, but I ended up buying just one more present and I... <laughs> Uh, I'll have to go back tomorrow to buy a few other ones. This is uh, insane. And it is cold and it's raining outside, so I'm just keeping my head on and try to warm myself up a little bit. And by the way, this is why I'm procrastinating making the video in which I show you how I wrap my uh, Christmas presents because. I don't have them all, I just have a few ones and some of them I cannot show you because I know that some of my friends watch these videos so, you know, I don't want to spoil um, anything. I'm one of those people that uh, just don't, don't want to know what they're getting for Christmas and that don't want people to know what they're getting for Christmas from me. So, you know, when it's cold outside and it's raining and it's freezing and there's snow, who doesn't want to be on a hot, warm beach? I would definitely be. I'm not saying that I hate the snow or the cold weather. In some ways it can be, you know, it can be um, good too. But I would love to uh, go uh, in a hot place uh, where I know that in my um in my city and in my nation is uh cold you know i would love to try that the uh, first place that i want to talk about is brazil when you think about brazil you think about uh, not only the hot weather but also the clubs and the pubs and the places the restaurants the places that you can like dance until morning so um, you can enjoy not only the hot weather, but also uh, all the Brazilian culture that has to be amazing. I've never tried uh, any Brazilian food or anything, like I've never been there, but I think uh, that uh, I would love to see that. I would love to visit Brazil one day. And of course, one of the hottest places, when you when you think about hot places, you think about Africa. I mean, for me, it's like that. It's like that. And we have Madeira in uh, Africa. We are next to the shore. It's a little uh, archipelago in, um, in Africa. And it's sad to uh, be one of the places where it's always spring. So we're not talking about like really hot weather. But you know, it's nice and warm to spend time in, in during during our uh, cold uh, cold weather, our freezing cold rainy weather. Then I wanted to put something in for the people who cannot afford a trip uh, like very far from where they live. I'm taking myself as example. So I live in Rome and. Uh, going like in Madeira or in Brazil in this um, moment of the year for me it uh, uh, is uh, impossible uh, not only because of the money but um, you know with the work and all these kind of things so um, uh, so I want to suggest you a place that is next to me next to me it's not far not that far from me and it's Trentino in Trentino the weather is really cold, but you can find all these hot baths and spas where you can warm yourself up a little bit. So I think, even if it's not Trentino, this is a great way to warm yourself a little bit and not and not go too far from from where you where you live. This is a great great solution. Last two places I want to talk to you about are my are in my list and uh, of the top places that I want to visit. So the first one is Cabo Verde. We are still in Africa and Cabo Verde, Cabo Verde has been my dream 
um, dream uh, like a place to go for the entire 2019. I tried with all of me, uh, with all my forces to go there, but I, I, at the end we couldn't make it. And I wish I can go in 2020 because it's really, really one great place to visit. I read so many things about it and the people are great, the food is good and the beaches are amazing and if you can just search for Cabo Verde on the internet and look at that place, it's amazing. Last but not least at all, it's Mexico or Yucatan in particular. Mexico has been in my top list of places to visit forever since I was a little kid. When I think about Mexico, I think about joy, I think about colors, I think about great food and I think about great drinks and great people that just warm you up. And thinking of Mexico in this moment of the year when here is really cold, it just makes me want to go and um, grab a ticket and just, uh, and just uh, fly over there. So this was my list. I know it wasn't properly the top five hardest places on earth, but these are the places that I would go uh, to warm myself up a little bit during um, this kind of weather. Tell me in the comments uh, what uh, the hardest places are in your opinion or, uh, or if you like uh, the snow and you like the cold and why you like it so we can exchange again some information. I'm always open to know new places, new cultures, new everything. When it's about traveling, I'm uh, all for it. So I hope that I'll finish my Christmas presents for tomorrow so that I can show you how I wrap them. I would be so happy to do something like that. So guys, uh, Christmas is almost here. Enjoy this last weekend before Christmas.